what's up guys welcome back to the channel thank y'all so much for tuning in it is a rainy nasty weekend and i have been looking on marketplace for another tri-5 chevy last night i found one on marketplace this is actually the second one that we have found on marketplace uh the first one was in about the same shape as what we got rid of this one's supposed to be a little bit further along. Uh, it's a 57, 210, two-door post. And we're coming to see how solid it is and what all it needs. We got our two co-pilots with us today. Maeve. And Pat Pat. So what I can gather is back in the day when they put a four speed and a tri five, everybody took an axe to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they didn't have sawzalls or cut off wheels because everyone <laughs> I've ever come across looks just like that. Yep. They was ready to go ride. It was Friday afternoon. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Uh huh. You can get locked jaw at the same time. Yeah. Well, they sell a little patch panel. <laughs> It's weird how the uh, post car looks shorter. They than, do, yeah. Than Way Newgrim's shorter. hard top car. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we're gonna look around, check out their cool stuff, and uh, talk about this Tri Five. We'll be back. All right, guys, anybody looking for a cool old '57 two-door post? Mr. Scott and Nolan has one here that make a great builder. It's going to need full floors, full trunk pan, uh, and lower rockers. And if it had been a little bit more solid, I would have scooped it up. It's got a 350 in it, Muncie 4 speed. It's drum brake all the way around. They have all the trim to it, uh, just about every piece to put it back together. But like I said, I'm looking for one a little bit further along. I don't want to deal with a, a whole lot of rust. I don't have the room on the time. It's gonna need this side glass and the other side glass put in. Windshield's good, the quarter glasses are good, back glass is good. He's got the bumpers, um, but it's a great start for somebody. And especially to pick up a project that runs. If you pour gas in the carburetor, it'll fire up. For thinking the fuel pump has decided to crap out. But there it is, little small block 350. So she's got tons, tons of potential, y'all. But see if I can't open this door, show y'all the rust. This in here ain't bad. It's got a little bit in this door, as you can see the daylight coming through. And I think y'all can see over in there somehow. Yeah. But there's a lot of trim. There's a front bumper right there. Pretty good seat in the front. It's had a dent pulled right here. But anyway, y'all know about these cars. Y'all know that just finding one in decent shape to build is getting harder and harder to find he has the new tail panel section and he's got a new grill and some new parts but he uh he's got some parts around here he's making me drool he just popped the hood on his 69 camaro ls swapped oh gosh this man's got it going on, y'all. RS, AC. He's got the stance right. Look at that lip right there. Boy, that thing's sexy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car. Makes me want to go home and drag my red 67 out and wash it. I might have to hang around here and wash this one for Mr. Scott. Nolan, you gonna help me wash this car? <laughs> beautiful car beautiful car y'all 
but uh mr scott is this the rear seats to the 57 looks yes. like them yes okay so we got rear seats let me walk around here he's got a grill right here by dan chuck he's got the tail section that goes between the bumper and the trunk floor right there and he's got the chrome rear bumper and this bag of stuff is some more chrome and i have found something over here for our good buddy nick that mr scott said that he would sell a forward flathead v8 so he thinks it come out of a truck he don't know the exact year model but the other heads laying right here i think you can count the bolt holes can kind of tell you which one it is i'm not for sure i'm not up to school there's the intake on the intake to it but i don't know a whole lot about flatheads i would love to learn more and know more but i am not the flathead guru they're cool old engines especially in an a model or a little hot rod or rat rod but I don't know anything, or I don't know enough about them. pep has been helping me. Uh-oh. Nolan has uh, popped the lid on this, the trunk lid on this Camaro. Let's go over here and check it out. Who doing the engine swap for y'all? George Paul. George Paul? That's the guy you were telling me about? Yep. Yeah. He doing a good job. Do you mind if I open this door? No, wow, beautiful car. So, does the tent have a blue tent to it? Yes. Check that out, y'all. Ah, oh, it smells good in here. It smells like new interior. Look at the bump in the trunk of this thing. I bet this will rattle your wig going down the road to your favorite Motley Crue song. Golly. Yep, this right here is sharp, sharp. All right, Nolan. Yes, sir. We appreciate you coming, taking a look. Hang on now. You ain't run me <laughs> off yet. You shaking my hand trying to push me out of here, dude. I'm starting to worry. Yes, sir. So... I, I I know why you're trying to run me off now. Because I keep eyeballing that Z28 over there. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, you, yeah, see, did you hear Jennifer? That's what she wants. So we like Kragers and uh, we like Z28s. So. Yeah, sir. Did, that, would it, it would be for sale, but it would take an arm and a leg to get it. Well, we've been known to tote a saw with us. I hear you. <laughs> It's one of those I wouldn't want to let go, but the right dollar could get it. Wait a minute. So are we saying that it's sentimental? Well, it's a little bit. Okay. I drove it, what, junior and senior year through high school. Wait a minute. So mom said this was your first car? Yes. Sir. Mm -hmm. Mom, did you ever get tickets in that car? No tickets. No tickets? No tickets. Everything's stock on that one. So it's what, one, about 182? It's like driving a big brick around, but it sure enough looks good when it's clean. There you go. That's all that matters. My wife always told me, as long as it looks cool and sounds <laughs> cool, that's all you need. So what does it need to get back on the road? It needs uh, the carb to be tuned is just about it. I'm wanting to go through and pull that two bolt and drop a LS in it before October for cruising and go from there, swapping the trans and redoing the body. It's got a couple, all the paint is original. If you've seen it like on the uh, passenger side door, that paint is starting to crack a little bit. Mm -hmm. Little things like that. Well, if that is the original paint, so, you, so you're telling me that's original decals and everything? Yes, sir. I couldn't bring myself to repaint it. Because they only original one time. Yes, sir. Now, I could see you doing the LS swap in it. I totally get that and understand why. But if that's original stripes and original paint, ah uh, yeah so that's original interior also yes sir yeah i don't know if i could uh 
I don't know if I can bring myself to repaint it. Beautiful car, y'all. Beautiful car. Ease this back. Oh, I see here. So these cars were bad about twisting right here. Oh yeah, very cool. Tilt column. Oh, I look, y'all. I know why Nolan wants a lot of money for this car. Now I don't know if his mama realizes that he's got a Playboy bunny hanging from the rearview mirror or not. So we know what this cat was up to in his high school days. So. I know why he's wanting a lot of money for this thing. He was riding around pimping back in the day in this thing. He was a player. Well, at least you was riding around in a cool car, bud. I like it. All right, guys, we're going to get out of here. And I appreciate y'all. Nice to meet you, Mr. Scott. You too. Enjoyed it. Nolan, sorry I called you Dalton the whole time. <laughs> That's no problem. I was on the phone with a Dalton yesterday about a Tri-5 Chevy, so, and uh, y'all were about the same age, so I had him in my head, and I had talked to him probably about an hour before I talked to you last night, so. That's my fault. I'm terrible with names, but I can always remember what you drive. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so, if you ever call me and be like, hey, Wesley, uh, this is Nolan. And I'm gonna think, oh, Nolan Ryan? How do I know Nolan Ryan? You know, with that cool Z28 with a Playboy bunny hanging from the rearview mirror. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to get back on the road. We got things going on at the house we got to get back to. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's a little crawfish bull. Oh, wow. Never mind. We're going to hang around here, y'all. I'm not sure later on. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, guys, back, you know. we'll catch up with y'all shortly. All right, guys, so we're getting close to Brian's house. It took me a little bit over two hours to get here. We in a little town north of me called Decatur, Mississippi. Y'all keep in mind, I've never met Brian in person. Uh, we've only talked on the phone several times and text a pretty good bit. So I'm excited to check out his car and his junk. I love looking at other people's stuff and seeing what they got hoarded up because, man, I love old cool hot rods and hot rod parts, different things like that. That just, that just makes my day to find cool stuff. So we get close. We're going to meet Brian for the first time and see what he's got and see what he's going to send us back home with. All right, guys. See y'all in just a minute. All right, guys. We made it. Look, cool stuff here everywhere. Get out and come in. Brian, my friend. Yes, sir. Holy moly. Y'all check this out. Look at all this. Look at the signs. How you doing, man? Man, so great to meet you in nice person, finally. Nice to meet finally. you, sir. Say hello to the YouTube world. Hello, YouTube world. <laughs> Guys, y'all check this out. He's got motors laying over here. He's got a Hemi, a couple flatheads. He's got a C10 tucked away under his side shed. This is the Model A that Nick sent me on Marketplace. Because when I got the Hemi, it just, I don't know y'all, it lit a fire under me. Between working on Rat Rod Bob's car and helping him and getting the Hemi from Paul, it's got me wanting to build something so bad. And that's how I met Brian. We started talking and swap phone numbers and here we are and here we are oh gosh what is this is this a 30 31 yeah, 30. a 30 in a mess of a shark <laughs> oh i can relate oh gosh this thing wow oh my gosh oh man this thing's fine can I open the door? Sure. Oh, wow. Is that an Impala or a Corvette steering wheel? What kind of steering wheel? Just an Impala. Wow. 
This thing is sharp, 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 y'all. Wow, check this out. What transmission? So T5. Oh yes. Y'all, y'all know I got Fox bodies and I have like five, six T5s left over through the years when I done Tremic swaps in a Fox body, so we've got parts to build one of these or to add to one of these. Man, small block Chevy. You got the cool old Corvette valve covers. Oh gosh, this thing is wow. What what uh, steering box is that? It's a Vega. Okay, yep. so it's a Vega cross steer. What I've been reading, that's a pretty common steering box to use. Oh yeah. So tell me the story about this old girl over here. This one actually we just got probably six months ago. Yeah. It came from uh, Baton Rouge. A friend of mine and I were out, actually went and looked at another coupe in Mendenhall. And it was on a day kind of like today, may rain, may not. And uh, we looked at the coupe and decided we'd go check this one out in Baton Rouge and wound up dragging it back, so. Got a nine inch coil over suspension. So would you call that a triangulated or is that a ladder bar style? It's, it's a ladder bar. Okay. Yeah. It's a ladder bar. I, I like that setup pretty good. It's pretty simple and it works good. That's something similar to Bob's got up under his rat rod, his little coupe. Yeah. I forgot what Bob's got. Yeah, it's real It's real similar to this. I know it's been around for years, but I, uh, I'm i still learning all this old old school stuff. Did you, uh, did the frame come with this project or did y'all build the frame? I actually bought that one in, uh, with another hoard of parts in Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama. Is that what they call the Buick brakes? Yes, that's going to be the later uh, Riviera okay. brakes. The, the 45 fin is actually the probably the most desirable. I think those are 72. And they're still cool looking though. Yeah. So is it a drum or is it a disc head on the other side? Drum. Okay. Don't they offer that where it looks like drum from this side but it's disc on the other side? Yes. Okay. And if I say something stupid, because I'm, like I say, Brian, all this early model stuff is all new to me, so you'll have to school me on the terminology and everything. I'll do what I can. So, counter sunk the firewall. Did you do that? Yes. Mm -hmm. You do good work, my friend. Thank you. This thing's going to be so sweet, y'all. So, if y'all seen on the room, I think it's the previous video, it might not be. I got rid of my 255s to Newburn and I got the top kick. And my plans are to sell the top kick in order to fund other projects. And I am so on the fence, y'all, what to do. I've been struggling with trying to decide if I want to go ahead and jump off into a Model A or find me another Tri 5. I just. I'm all over the map, y'all. I love everything. And I ain't got enough money for all my wants. That's always been my problem. I don't know. This thing here is in pretty good shape. Got a little rust right here. Which from what I've been looking at is pretty common. I mean, we know what Bob started with, so I mean, you can make something out of anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So these things had a lot of wood in them from the factory, didn't they? A good bit, yes. Now, can you buy all that wood, or is that something that you have to cut and make yourself to replace? You can buy it, and you could, or you can cut it. Uh, it's pretty expensive, but you can buy it. Well, let me ask a stupid question. Okay. 
what would happen if you decided to replace the wood with metal is that a bad idea no it's pretty common okay yeah like a, square tubing or yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's a common thing to do it that way so this is a 30 frame yes or 31 is this 30 or 31 it could be either one i think it's uh it's titled as a 30. okay uh, there are some people that can probably tell you the difference between the 30 and the 31. Yes, sir. I can tell you what a late 31 looks like. But, uh, they're both pretty close to the same. And I feel like you can buy all the regulators and guts that goes in these doors. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Door handles. And here you would just have glass cut because you would have to anyway since most people would chop it anyway. Yeah. Does this raise, or is it just sitting there? It actually falls, but we, <laughs> but we will. Uh, it actually we will falls. take it off if we can. It's got just enough of a deck lid on it to say it's got a deck lid. Actually, can you buy those? Yes, I've got I've got a new one on mine. Actually, okay. And the best I can tell, this is actually a rumble seat car. It's got the rumble seat brackets back here. Okay. Well, it looks like somebody replaced that tail panel, huh? Yeah, I think I think that's the only new part. The only new piece on it. Yeah. In this frame is in pretty decent shape, looks like. It's fair. I got a set set of uh, boxing plates, and we'll probably let go with it. Okay. So the doors are in actually pretty good shape, which you told me that on the phone. Yeah. I've I'll right. tell y'all who else has got a few parts for these things. That's Paul and Mr. John. You know, of course, Paul's the one I got the blower and the Hemi from. And his, his good friend, Mr. John, he's got a few old parts that I think he told me he had a fuel tank that I could have and uh, the hood sides here he had and some other odd end pieces so meeting all these guys that's in the model a world i might could johnny cash me one of these things together so let's go see what we came for y'all so this is a 331 chrysler hemi as far as i know i'm very uh good at telling you any details about this hemi or actually the ford stuff so it's got the extended bell housing on it so that would mean that it's oh gosh 51 to 53 or 54 it's going to be in the 50s i'm pretty sure and we got a flat head right here. Two flat heads, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is... So they're the ABAs. So that would be the later flat head. I think that's right. Somewhere from like 49 to 51. Y'all don't quote me on any of this. This is just things that I've been reading and learning myself. So I've always been a small block Chevy, small block Ford, big block guy, Ford and Chevy. All of this is, it's all new to me, y'all. Every bit of it. But they're still cool. Cool, cool, cool. Wow. So me and Brian have done some trading on these engines right here. And we're going to take this Hemi and these two flatheads home today. And uh, I'm going to tinker with these flatheads. 
and see if I can't get one broke loose and maybe out of the two somehow some way get one to crank up and run fire up on a stand and I'm sure I'll have to locate and source out some other parts and try to figure these things out but looks like this one here has been sitting a while the manifold's broken it's about eight the bolts off the rest of the bolts off into the block so but anyway maybe they're good blocks and good cores to start with I have learned that they are very prone to crack around the head bolts. Oh, yeah. If you find cracks, it says don't be alarmed because you're probably not going to find one that has not. <laughs> so, or does not have a crack. I've got a friend that's actually running one in a 32. I think he said he tore down six before he found a good one. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, and we've been learning about these, y'all. I know mine's a 270 red round and this is the Chrysler 331 or a Chrysler Hemi. So we'll do some investigating on this old girl. And uh, do you know the last time this thing run? I have no idea. Okay. Well, that's the way we like to get them, y'all. <laughs> it's a challenge to get them freed up and turn it over and possibly running again. We're C10 people. Can we check out the C10? Sure. What year model? That's a 68. 68. I had a 68 years ago. A little short bed step size. That's a cool old truck, y'all. Solid old truck. Somebody done threw some paint on the inside of this girl. Got the tack dash in it. The tilt collar. Another Impala steering wheel. I like that color. Is this uh, just a roller or has it got a motor in it? It's got a motor. It actually runs. It's been a while since I have ran it. Somebody's already converted it to five lug. Oh, wow. Check this out. It's got ALS in it. Is that a 5.3? Four eight. Four eight. Those are very good engines too. That's what's in that truck that I'm driving today is a four eight and it's uh, got hundred and ninety thousand on it. I think this one a friend of mine actually installed it for me uh, I think it's got like fifty thousand on it. Yeah. Somewhere along in there. I like this a lot. I like the sixty seven, sixty eight grills. It actually started life as a GMC. Oh wow. I've contemplated uh, changing it back. Actually belonged to my my grandfather. He bought it new. When I got it, it had 90,000 miles on it. Well, y'all know what that means. Y'all just heard it. There's no use in asking if it's for sale because normally when they come from the grandfather, they're not for sale. I, I wouldn't sell it. It is cool. It's straight, solid too. Is that original rockers and cab corners? No, sir. I, I actually put uh, rockers and cab corners on. Okay. Well, the way the paint is, you would think they were original looking. I mean, you could tell this one's been worked some here, but that old rocker panel looks original. But that's a given on them trucks for sure. All right. Enough of uh, show and tell with Brian right now. I'm going to get back to checking out his stuff. We'll be back, y'all. Got his little coop out. Y'all listen to this old girl. Boy, it sounds good. I think we need to wash it. No. It's beautiful just the way it is.
All right, guys, Brian pulled over. He has gave me the keys. We fisting up. Drive this old girl. Okay. What's the combination? Just hit the key. That's it. Man, you're giving me the fever so bad. All clear. We just got back. I'm super excited. Brian, thank you for letting me drive that thing. Absolutely, man. sir. Golly. Glad to have you. That thing's awesome. Wow. I'm going to do a little overview of his car, y'all, uh, because I don't know how good y'all could hear me on camera. So, um, Brian, this is a 30 model. Yes. On a 32 frame. He's running a small journal 327, camel hump heads, dual plane intake, Holly 650 double pumper dual points distributor uh it's running a t5 out of an s10 looks like he's running a mini starter oh um, i see you have that water pump that's designed to raise a pump in order to put the fan in the center of the radiator that's correct i've done that not to have to run a electric fan okay look, basically exactly i like that and a one wire alternator gm alternator cool little air breather um i don't know what you call that style um uh, is it a dome top or i think so okay think united pacific makes those i think and we're chopped how much three inches three inch chop all steel body he's got some little touches he wants to finish but man this thing's cool y'all Brian countersunk his own firewall. He done all his own metal work. He built the uh, panel for the roof up here. It's kind of like a vinyl style top. Um, he's running a nine inch that he cut down with a 355 gear. It's the perfect gear for his five speed. The gear is just dead on. It'll smoke a tire, it'll bark second. It'll cruise in fifth, just fine. Highway speeds, it handles good. Is it just, am I doing it? Yeah. Doing it wrong? No. That's locked. Right up, pull it up. Oh. Okay. okay, so. He's got a fuel cell, kind of like the one that Bob has in his. Got his battery back here. In a battery box. Everything's nice, clean. All this works really, really, really good, y'all. Yeah. I like this thing. I like it a lot. He's running the buggy style spring suspension. He's running ladder bars on this one also. Bias ply tires. Is it 15 inch wheels or 16? 16. All the way around? It's a 44, uh, 16, it's four inch on the front, four and a half on the back. Okay. Yeah, this thing 
it's just sharp y'all it's just a sweet ride sexy ride and like I said before between his and Rat Rod Bob's oh lord I ain't going to be able to sleep at night I got the fever so bad wow alright I want to give y'all an overview of Brian's car and of course my phone goes to ringing so anyway we're going to look around here at his place some more y'all we'll be back alright Brian was not lying, y'all. He has a van chugged full of Model A parts. I mean, they're even piled up on the roof. Holy moly. Hoods and doors and side panels and a little bit of everything. And the van, not that bad of shape. I mean, we could throw a motor in it. Oh gosh, look at these cool headlights. Holy crap. Fenders, wheels, brake assemblies, and drums, and what is that thing? Is, is that the ignition? It's a heater. Oh, a heater. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. What's the dash, y'all? Holy crap. Yep. Between Paul and Mr. John and Bob and Brian here. Maybe I can piece me together a model way. Everybody needs a school bus for parts. That's the best thing to store parts in. I should have kept that one that me and Newbern and uh, all of us got together. Oh wow! And pulled the uh, Cummins out of that would have been a good parts storage building bus, whatever. Holy moly. We got carburetors. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Old knees. Small block Chevys. See, I'm not the only one that hoards stuff, y'all. True hot rod guys hoard parts. T5. Couple T5s. Intakes. Is that a four speed over there? Yeah, it's Muncie. Muncie four speed heads. I mean, check it out, y'all. Brian's got cool stuff hoarded up everywhere. Oh no. Jennifer, you see that? So, Brian, you don't know this about us, but my wife collects antique boat motors. And I had to build her a stand to put in the living room. And when I find one, I clean it up and she puts it on the stand and displays them in our house. Cool. So we want to build a barn dominium or a shop house one day, good Lord willing. And she wants to have those boat motors displayed all over the new house. That's pretty cool. Yep. She loves old boat motors. Everybody's like, oh, Wesley, I like your boat motors. And like, They're not mine, it's my wife's. <laughs> Same way with the deer heads on the wall. Everybody's like, there you go, man. That's some nice buck deer. I didn't kill them. My wife did. <laughs> and that's true. She did. We went and or we used to deer hunt for years. And I always uh, told everybody I was just a hunting guide. So I said, I always went. And we would be hunting uh, 200 yards away from each other. But the deer would always come to her first. Oh, yeah. So Naturally. Yep. All right, guys, we're going to get around here and get these engines loaded and see what else we can't come up with. And I got to get on the road here soon. I got another stop to make. See y'all in a little while. Well, we got the uh, two flatheads loaded. We got the Hemi loaded. I don't think the flatheads are going to go anywhere, but this old Hemi's heavy, so I throwed a ratchet strap on it. And uh, thanks to Brian, he had straps and chains already hooked to him, ready to load. He's got that big, awesome tractor over here. So that made life way easier for us. But anyway, I'm fixing to get on the road. Brian, I yes, enjoyed sir. it so much, my Absolutely, friend. Absolutely, man. That, Look, was, that was great. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you the last couple hours. I love everything about you. I love your shop, your hot rods, the cool parts. And me and Brian done some trading on these old motors, y'all. I'm going to take them back home and fool with them. 
and uh, the trade deal is he gets to come to my shop and pick out something that he needs. <laughs> so I appreciate it, man. I really, really do. Absolutely. And uh, if I can ever help you in any way, you just reach out to me and you come to my place. We're only about two hours apart and it's good roads back and forth. So you're more welcome to come to my shop anytime and hang out and plunder through my junk because you let me plunder through yours, walk through the woods, look at all your cool stuff. And that's what I like. Man, I love stuff like that. Yes, sir. Absolutely. You're welcome anytime. But I'm going to get on the road and go to our next stop. Y'all probably going to remember my next stop. I was there about a week ago and uh, we got one more item to pick up before we head back home. So y'all hang out. I'm going to drive. I think it's about an hour away and we're going to pick up something else cool. All right. See y'all in a little bit. All right, guys. We are back at Mr. Scott's place. The other day, Mr. Scott had a flathead V8 and we made a deal on this thing and I am back to get it. I have been around the world. So we're gonna go home with three flatheads and a Hemi. It's a great rainy day find for hot rod parts. All right, let's see if we can't get this thing eased down. All right, all right, if you wanna pull that bolt out. All right, guys, we got our strap down, ready to ride. We got about an hour before we get home, so maybe all this will ride. It's rode this far. So, we got three flatheads now. I'm gonna try to get that one uh, cleaned up, broke loose, get it rotating, get the old transmission off there. And fool with the Hemi some too. And if that one don't work out, we got two spares for parts or for whatever. Or might hook some buddies up with some flathead stuff. Never can tell about me. Mr. Scott. Yes, sir. Thank you for letting me come get that flathead. I appreciate it so much, my friend. Hey, no problem. Ah, uh, it's grease. <laughs> it don't, it's good with me. All right, guys, we're going to ease on to the house. Try to beat this rain. I'll catch y'all in a little while. Just made it home. And I'm excited. I'm very excited, y'all. I'm tickled to death. So, we got this flathead from Brian, that flathead from, from my Brian, Ugh, can't talk, and this Hemi, which we're assuming is a 331 from Brian, and this flathead from my buddy Scott. All right, we got my little handy dandy flashlight. Let's see here. Ugh. Okay. Goodness gracious, get out of there, Cole. I need to look down in there, come out. You're not coming out. Mm. That thing. Okay, there it goes. Let's see here. Ooh, I can see. All right, guys. So I went to Chrysler on Hothead's page, the serial number, or the casting number. And if you can see that, it says C52-8-2. So I'm assuming the 1001 is what number it was as far as uh, production number. Because if you scroll over, it's a 52 model Chrysler 331. I don't know what the two means. And I guess it's 180 horsepower. Let's scroll back up. Oh, carb. So it means two barrel. So the number on this is C52-8. Three six four eight three. So this is a 1952 331 two barrel Chrysler Firepower Hemi. Ta da! 331. Ta da! Get down. All right. Well, that's awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. 
I need you to unload these real quick while Should I go home out. and get a shower. So, okay. just where you may chunk them. No, just pick them up real easy and set them down real easy. I don't want to bend or break nothing. <laughs> okay. I mean, Coco could probably do it. Oh, I'm sure he could. I'm happy. I'm excited, and I'm very, very thankful. A big, huge thank you to Brian, and a big, huge thank you to Scott for y'all helping me out, hooking me up, helping me load them, and I enjoyed coming and hanging out with y'all today very, very much. So, again, thank y'all, and if I can ever do anything for y'all on my end, y'all please don't hesitate to reach out, holler at me. So, it's been a good day, even though you had to work, and I got to uh, ride and look at cool stuff and bring home cool stuff. Somebody's got to work. I mean, you know. <laughs> you didn't tell them what you got today. Oh, I did show them. I got me an awesome boat motor. I love baby boat motors. So, me and Brian was talking about Jennifer and how she loves to collect old boat motors. Look what Brian sent me home with. A little antique boat motor. It's called a West Bend, I think is the name of it. So, we will get this thing all cleaned up. Jennifer likes to coat them in flood. That's a product that you get from Lowe's. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like, kind of yeah, kind of like a sweet potato sauce. Oh, we got some sweet potato sauce now before we had the flood, so we can try it on your boat motor. Okay. But anyway, she likes to clean them up really good, coat them down with the sauce, and she displays them all over the house. We have some in our living room now. So. Thank you again, Brian. You have added to my wife's collection. Yes, thank you very much. All right, guys. This is probably going to wrap this video up. I greatly appreciate y'all hanging out with us. I appreciate y'all going along with me today. And we got more Hemis and we got some flatheads. So we got cool stuff to tinker on. But hey, Oh yeah, by the way, thank y'all for all the subscribes. We uh, think we picked up, what, about 300 and something? Oh wow, yeah. Yes. So, and all the comments and all the hit me info. Oh, some of y'all guys, yeah, y'all helped me out tremendously on reading all that hit me info. So I'm greatly appreciated for that too. Yes, thank you very, very much. And uh, by the way, if y'all don't already watch my buddy uh, Chase's channel, <laughs> Simon's Powerhouse. Y'all go check him out. He's really doing a cool Mustang right now. And he's got a DeSoto Hemi that's gorgeous. That he's building for a car that he calls the Duke. Sweet, sweet, sweet car. And uh, Chase is very talented in what he does. And he does a lot of metal fabrication. What are you talking about? I heard butt. He's got his butt in my face. <laughs> okay sorry about that but anyway yeah y'all y'all go check out my buddy chase's channel he uh he's working on a fastback mustang right now i think he's trying to build it before power tour and uh, he's uh very talented in what he does he's a very good fabricator so uh chase reached out to me guess what he told me All right. he's got valve cover gaskets for a hemi <laughs> He's in Texas, though. Yeah. He said, I'm only two states away. And I was yeah. like, put them in the mail, please. Yeah. Go ahead and just send them right on over this way. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, y'all go check out Chase and uh, check out his builds and what he's got going on. And um, I don't know what we got planned for the next video. But until then, y'all stay safe. Go grab some old hot rod junk, drag it home, tinker on it, mess with it, play with it. Aggravate your wife with it. <laughs> Flatheads. Hemis. Now all we're missing is a Model A. And what else? Something to put your blower in. Now then. Yeah, so I'm getting in trouble, y'all. My wife wants me to put that blower on something. Uh, so, yes. I want you to do it before the Model A. Okay, I get it. I got to sell the top kick. To the Chevelle is still sitting naked in the shop. So now we're going there. Yes, we are. You got you got your blower. <laughs> Chevelle's still waiting. Well, Newber's gonna take your motor back with him because uh, 
He's got a guy that knows a guy that's a cousin of a brother-in-law up there that does machine work. Fine by me. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> he can be his mama. I don't care. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> well, Newburn said that he wanted to start rebuilding alternators and starters, so we'll tell him that his mama needs to open a machine shop. <laughs> by the way, if anybody needs a top kick, we'll walk over here and check it out real quick. We have a 1992 top kick. It has a 366 big block, throttle body fuel injected, Allison transmission. It is a cool truck. It has, it has made two trips, one from Georgia to here, and then from here back to Georgia. But I hauled it home because we hauled Newbury in the 55s. Uh, the bed is just sitting on there. It's just kind of tacked in place because uh, for those of y'all that watch Newbury's channel, he was gonna lower that bed, remove the boxes, change the fuel tanks, and fill in the gap right there. But he's moved on to the C50, so me and him done a trade on the 55s. I am selling this truck. Cool old truck, runs good, shifts good, stops good. Um, I don't have any use for it, and I could use the funds to go toward my 55 project, or let me rephrase that, my Tri-5 project, because I'm looking for a two-door post, whether it be 55, 57, I may consider 56, but I like 55s and 57s better. But if it's a good, clean, straight car, Y'all keep me in mind. Hit me up in the comments. Uh, I think we have an email on our channel now. Y'all keep that in mind. So if y'all come across something, let me know. If you're interested in the GMC Top Kick, let me know. But back to what I was saying, I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all hanging out. I appreciate y'all going on the road trip with me today. And keep the info coming because I greatly appreciate it. But until the next one, y'all stay safe. Have fun with your hot rods. Have fun with your gearhead buddies. Y'all go round up some projects and chase some parts down and do gearhead stuff. Until the next one, y'all be safe. Catch you later. Bye.